what Digicel and Chelsea has done is really ignited that spirit of belief in these youngsters, giving them something to hope and aspire towards. And um, they just need to be commended for it. And I'm very, very happy that the final leg of this um, project is being held in Jamaica for the first time and gives us an opportunity to get a free practice match, so to speak, <laughs> against the champion of the academy on this leg. It's, it's a wonderful project and we just hope that it will grow from strength to strength and that you know, both Digicel and Chelsea will find it necessary and ap appropriate to expand on this project in the future. Firstly to all the players, you made a huge effort this week. Uh, we really appreciate that. You seized the opportunity that you got. It was really obvious uh, from looking at you guys out there, there's a lot of talent and um, a really bright future for, for many of you. We're delighted to have uh, the CEO of Digital Jamaica, uh, Barry O'Brien, and I'd like to ask Barry to uh, come up and say a few words to you. Thank you. So for Digital, that's what it's all about. It is about the, the whole grassroots side of it as well, and hopefully in some years to come, we'll see some of you in the professional game as well at the highest levels. But you've got to start, and it is all about hard work. So thanks to all the coaches, again, the, all the organisers, all the Digicel staff, everybody inside here um, for participating in this and made this go on for many more years. And my ambition would be also to keep it in Jamaica as well. Um. So this is, this is how we're going to run it, so everybody understands exactly the format. Uh, firstly, we're going to recognise the players, so we're going to call you up in your countries. I think uh, overall the, the boys have uh, understood more of a technical knowledge of the Chelsea philosophy and how we like to, the boys to play. Um, I thought overall the boys gelled very well, um, got to know their strengths and weaknesses um, and were able to put into practice what we were teaching them over the week into their games. These individual awards, yes we, we give individual awards to highlight excellence but let's please remember that collectively you've all achieved a wonderful amount during this week. So the running order of the individual awards. We actually would like to recognise, first and foremost, the overall winning team of the Academy. So I would like to welcome up, and uh, Barry O'Brien will award the winning team with the Digicel Kickstart Academy Trophy 2014, and that is to Coach Steve Winnett and Team Fabregas. Up you come. I think it's been a huge success this week. It's been, it's been a pleasure to work with such talented young boys who have had a great opportunity to come out to the Caribbean and come to Jamaica to, to take this um, event on this week and they've applied themselves well in training. Best team player. So I would like to welcome Mr Stephen Winnett up to award the best player. This year's most improved player who is Jamaica's very own Jeremy Varley. So this year's most valuable player at the Digicel Kickstart Academy 2014 is Cameron Dew from Cayman Islands. Well, to be appointed the MVP player of this tournament, I mean, from Chelsea FC Academy with all these very good players from the Caribbean is very good and it feels well I can't really explain the feeling I'm feeling right now because I haven't really experienced anything like this before but I feel really good right now. Okay so this year's winners 
of the 3v3 competition, taking in the rain off of Haiti from last year, is Suriname. Now, I'm proud on behalf of Chelsea Football Club and on behalf of my fellow coaches to say you are leaving the 2014 Digicel Kickstart Academy as 42 young ambassadors. Young ambassadors who are role models for next year's class of 2015 and hopefully for the next 10 years of the Digicel and Chelsea FC Kickstart program. Overall, it was a really, really good experience. It was something I haven't experienced before and it's taught me a lot. And I hope to go back to Cayman and share with my teammates and my coaches and some of the younger kids what I've learned here. On a personal level, a massive thank you to everybody at Digicel and on behalf of my coaches, a personal thank you to James and all of his wonderful team here in Jamaica. Thank you very much. Well, one thing that's, that's really important at Chelsea Football Club, we pride ourselves on not just developing good footballers, but developing good people. Um, and we churn out some, some wonderful footballing talent, um, but they're very humble and they're disciplined uh, and they understand what it takes to succeed. And I think, you know, we've actually instilled that ethos with these 42 players here this week. Um, we've worked on them thoroughly to, to educate them on what they should be doing nutritionally, how they should look after themselves, how they can condition themselves to ensure that they they prolong as much as possible their career. But really what we've we've really tried to work on is off the pitch is integrating them within all of the different cultures, different languages, and ensuring that they have a, a, a well-rounded experience whereby they come back uh, having matured in such a short space of time. Okay, so that's it. Until next year, all the best.